Hey guys, so what I was explaining yesterday um, when we were going over the E major chord is that in E major, which is this chord right here, that chord and any major chord will only ever have ones, threes, and fives in them. And what I mean by ones, threes, and fives is that's the first, the third, and the fifth note of the scale. So using an E scale, one, two, three, that's the G sharp, okay? E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. B is your five. One, three, and five. Ones, threes, and fives. That's what all that's all that will ever be in a major chord. So when you play an E major, what you've got is your top string, an E. That's a B, so that's the five. There's another E, so that's the one. Oh, there's that G sharp, that's the three. Then you've got a B, that's a five. And then you have another E, so that's another one. So all we have is one, five, one, three, five, one. There's a major chord. Now, if you look on one of your sheets that I gave you, I kind of outlined, it's the one I was going over with you yesterday, what a minor chord is, and basically all that you do for a minor chord is you take the third of a major chord and you flat it. So we know that we've got in this E major chord a one, five, one, three, five, and one. So since we know that G sharp, Remember, that's the three. We need to flat that. So we'll take that G sharp and make it a G. And there you have your E minor. Same thing goes with any other chord. A D, that F sharp is the third. That's the high E string. So you flat that third and you've got a D minor. A. The C sharp is the third, so we're going to flat that, and we have an A minor. So basically, what we were going over yesterday is to change any chord from a major to a minor, you flat the third, and that's the third note of the scale. So hopefully this helps.